Let's begin today in a seated pose, finding a place where you can allow the tailbone to drop down towards the earth beneath you, and then from that foundation, drawing your awareness up your spine towards the top of your head, and letting the top of your head actually reach towards the sky above you. Feel the lifting of your heart, and the dropping of the hips, dropping of the knees. You can allow your eyes to remain open, or you can gently close the eyes. Bringing your awareness to your breath. Slow and steady inhale, full, complete exhale. Feel the rise and the fall of your breath. Start to connect now to your core, connecting to the center of your physical being, drawing your awareness to your lower belly as you draw the navel in towards the spine and slightly up towards the heart. Try and keep this awareness this belt of strength throughout your entire practice. Allow all of your movements, all of your intentions to come from this place. Find strength and stability through your center. On the next inhale, feel a gentle rise in your heart. Exhale as you settle even further into your foundation. Feel the rise and the fall of your breath. Smooth any tension across the eyebrows or the forehead. And continue to focus your awareness on your core, on your center. Place your right hand now on the chest, your left hand on your navel. Feel the rise and the fall of both hands as you breathe. As you bring your awareness now to the bottom hand, engage the bandhas, engage lower belly lock and the upper belly lock to hold your belly still. Draw the navel deeper into the spine. Now feel only the rise and the fall of your right hand. Your core stays stable and still. You begin to breathe now in the ribs and the lungs, opening through the intercostals as the ribs move away from one another as you inhale and back towards one another as you exhale, bringing your hands back onto your knees, back onto your legs. Again, focus on your core. Focus on your center. The rise and the fall of your breath. If your eyes are closed, open them now as you bring your hands to heart, joining the palms, pressing the thumbs to the front of the chest. Inhale, feel the beating of the heart against the hands. Exhale and feel your breath against your fingers. Inhale to reach up, taking the hands over the top of your head. Letting the shoulders glide down towards the hips, turning your upper body towards your left knee, releasing the right hand onto the left kneecap. Take your left arm up and over your body. Drop down through the left hip and look up under your left arm. Inhale and reach up. Taking your right hand towards the sky, touching the left hand, 
Then using your core to turn the torso towards your right leg, releasing the left hand onto the kneecap as the right arm reaches the up and over. Again, gaze up under your bicep, flare the fingers, and breathe. Steady through your foundation, inhale and rise, both arms overhead, joining your palms, hands to heart. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands to mat, and extend your legs back behind you, finding tabletop pose. Hooking your 10 toes under, push your legs towards the back of the mat. Let's begin in plank. Shoulders stacked above the wrists. Fingers are pointing forward. Start to bend the knees, draw your hips back, lower the head and chest. Inhale, come back to plank, straightening your legs. Exhale, connect to the core, draw the hips back. Inhale, lengthen the body. Exhale, firing up through the center of your body. Inhale to plank. On the next exhale, bend your elbows straight back. Feeling Chaturanga Dandasana? Inhale, return to plank. Send energy to the heels. Bend the knees, take the head down. Inhale, right knee forward, touching your right arm. Exhale, bend the knees, chest down. Inhale, the leg comes forward. Exhale, take the hips lower. Inhale, sweeping the right leg towards the right arm. Exhale, kick the right leg back. Inhale and plank. Exhale, bend the knees, draw the chest to the thighs. Inhale now as the left leg touches your left arm. Exhale, surrender the knees. Inhale the leg forward. Exhale, step back, lowering hips. One more time, inhale, bring the leg forward. Exhale, shoot it back. Inhale to plank. Exhale, soften the knees. Touch your belly to your thighs. Inhale, return to plank. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Exhale, chaturanga. Flipping your feet, one foot and then the other. Inhale, upward facing dog. Hips are high away from the floor. Top of your head is reaching up. Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows bend, reach the hips back, downward facing dog. Always feel your core drawing in towards the spine. Thread the navel in, create strength through the center of your body to lengthen out your lower back. Strong legs, pushing both heels down towards the earth. Inhale, come forward, find plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, the legs are incredibly engaged. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, through plank. Exhale, returning to downward facing dog. Center of your palm is pushing deeply into the mat in front of you, and the heels are yearning towards the mat behind. Inhale, take your right leg to sky, flexing your foot. Exhale, right knee to chest. Inhale, reach a little bit higher, as though you're standing in that right leg. Exhale, right knee towards your heart. Inhale, reaching even higher, keep the hips even. Exhale, right foot between the hands, left knee to mat. Inhale now as both arms reach up overhead. Feel the shoulders and the hips move down. Feel your heart lift up. Exhale, place the palms next to your right foot. Inhale now as the right leg shoots back and up with strength. On the next exhale, drop into Chaturanga with one leg elevated. Upward facing dog with two legs. Downward facing dog through your Chaturanga. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, soften your hips. Engaging the front of your legs to lengthen the back. Left leg floats up. Inhale as you reach the leg high. Feel your toes curling in. Exhale, draw knee to chest. Inhale, take the leg even higher. Exhale, connect towards your core. Inhale, reaching up, find length. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, right knee on the mat. Inhale, both arms sweep up towards the sky. Exhale, 
push the pubic bone down towards your left heel. Liberation through the chest and heart, flared through the fingers, letting that energy surge straight out and up. Exhale, lower the hands. Inhale, leg to sky, pushing directly into your heel. Exhale into a Chaturanga Dandasana, one leg. Upward facing dog, flipping your feet. Downward facing dog through Chaturanga. Remember in any of these transitions to modify, you can use your knees against the mat. Build your strength gradually and naturally, always listening to your body. Look to hands, step or lightly hop between them. Forward fold, halfway up, creating a number seven with your body. Exhale, deep forward fold, take your gaze between your legs. Pushing down into your fingers, inhale again, come halfway up, flatten the back. Exhale, using your core to drop the torso. Inhale now as both arms reach forward and up towards the sky. As you exhale, join the palms, bring the hands again to the heart. Inhale, reach up, look up to the thumbs. Exhale through your core line to the earth, fingers in line with your toes. Halfway up, inhale. Deep forward fold, exhale. Inhale to plank, step or hop back. Strong through your body as you lower through chaturanga. Halfway down or less, inhale, upward facing dog on the top of the feet. Core is always engaged to protect your lower back. Through chaturanga, inhaling to plank, exhaling, downward facing dog. Lift your heels on the inhale, step forward as you exhale. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, core initiates the dropping of the torso. Inhale, root into your feet, lift up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come down. Surya Namaskar, saluting the light in your own heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale to plank, step or hop. Exhale through Chaturanga, touch your ribs with your elbows here. Inhale, upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha. Feel the rise of your head, of your heart. Exhale through Chaturanga to downward facing dog. Take your hips back. Push your hands forward to reach your hips even further back. Feel your heels yearning for the floor. Feel the front of your legs engage. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, step or hop between the hands. Halfway up, inhale. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, reach both hands forward and up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, deeply bend the knees. Take your hands first in front of your chest and then up above you. Draw the navel into spine, round rather than arch your lower back here. And then fold, hands to mat. Halfway up, inhale, lengthen the spine. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Softening your elbows, flipping your feet, using your core to move your hips back. Feel each and every part of that transition. Right foot forward, left heel to mat. Inhale, warrior one. Arms overhead, chest is broad and open. Exhale, hands to mat. Right leg shoots back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Try and do that additional Chaturanga in every transition you can. Left leg forward, right heel to mat, inhale, rise. Feel the chest and arms lift, exhale, lower back down. Inhale, plank or one-legged, moving through Chaturanga. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale, with or without that additional Chaturanga. Just giving yourself the opportunity to build strength, slowly over time. Feel the heels drop. Feel the navel thread in, lift the heels, step or hop forward, forward fold. Inhale halfway up, create the number seven with the body, deepen your fold now as you exhale. Inhale rise, finding chair pose again, arms in front or overhead. Not arching the lower back, 
Bring hands to heart. Again, return to chair. Ukatasana. Inhale, feel your heart lift. As you exhale, feel the navel draw into spine, lowering the chest and hands. Inhale, come halfway up and lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, soft elbows. Upward facing dog, inhale, reach up. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips back. Inhale, right foot forward, left heel to mat, warrior one. Take the arms up. Exhale, hands to mat, lift your back heel. Shoot your right leg back and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll the heels together. Exhale, downward facing dog, heels to mat. Inhale now as the right leg steps between the hands, warrior one. Confident foundation. Exhale, hands to mat, right leg back as you lower through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, feel the chest spread. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale now, the left foot steps between the hands, right heel to mat, rise, warrior one, arms overhead. Exhaling slowly, releasing the air out of your body, shoot your left leg back, find your core here, chaturanga. Upward facing dog on the inhale, heels together, energize the center line, downward facing dog through chaturanga dandasana. Inhale to lift your heels, exhale step or hop directly between your thumbs, forward fold. Inhale, finding chair pose, Utkatasana, hands in front or overhead, drawing the navel into spine. Join the palms, bring your thumbs to the front of the chest and breathe. Feel the rise and fall of the breath. Release the hands, step out, hips distance apart with your feet. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Feeling your foundation, feel your feet. Prepare the body to move with the breath. Inhale now as you take your right leg to sky, lifting both arms, extending the leg out in front of you, flexing your right foot, using every muscle in your right leg. Lift the knee and step your right leg back, land on the ball of your foot, bring the knee to floor. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, straighten your left leg, lower your fingertips and look beyond your left toes. Inhale, bring your hips forward, arms overhead. As you exhale, Slowly push the hands down, looking down. Inhale, lift up, take the arms up. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale as you take your left leg and shoot it back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Energize the heels to floor. On the next inhale, take the left leg up and then step it between the hands. Inhaling. Lift your right leg, flex your foot. Exhale, join the feet. Inhale, lift up, reach up with your arms. Exhale, hands straight through the center line. Left leg lifts, inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, kick the left heel in front. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, step back. Inhale, arms overhead, knee to floor. Exhale, straighten your right leg, flex your foot, lower your fingers. On the next inhale, hips forward, arms up, lift the chest, lift your arms. Exhale, push down, energizing both legs. Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale, connect your palms. Inhale, shoot your leg back, you're solid and strong. Moving through chaturanga, keeping your shoulders safe by keeping your elbows in. As you exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Right leg rises on the inhale, and then steps between your hands as you exhale. Inhale, lift up, flexing that left leg. Exhale, join the feet. Inhale, sweep both arms overhead. Exhale, hands straight through. Inhale, right leg rises yet again. Exhale, push it forward. Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, step the right leg back, bring the knee to floor, arms overhead. Bringing your fingertips down, flex the left foot, straightening it as best you can. Look forward. Inhale, hips forward arms overhead, using your core to drop the hips towards the mat. Push your hands down to the earth. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, connect the palms, strengthen through your core, and shoot your left leg straight back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, engaging your legs. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg. 
Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Lift the right leg as you inhale with the option of bringing your arms forward. Connect your feet. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands straight through. Left leg, inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, push the foot forward. Bend the knee as you inhale. Step back, exhale. Inhale, lift your chest and arms. Exhale, fingers to mat, flexing your right foot. Inhale, bringing your hips forward, arms overhead. Look down, exhale, push down with strength and conviction. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, palms to mat. Right leg back on the inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts as you inhale, step it between your hands, exhale. Inhale, left leg up with the option of arms extending, warrior three. Connect your feet as you exhale and lift up, inhale. Hands to heart, joining your palms, full cycle of breath in and out. Release your hands now beside your hips and roll your shoulders again up, back and down. Feel yourself rooting down into four corners of your feet. And from that connection, feel your foundation strong. Feel your core stable. Feel your shoulders relaxed, your spine extending. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, drop the hands down in line with your toes. Forward fold. Halfway up, inhale, create the number seven. Exhale, deep forward fold, looking between your legs. Inhale to plank, hop back. Exhale to lower. Upward facing dog, strong, engaged legs. Downward facing dog, looking back between your feet. Inhale, the right leg reaches up to sky, flexing your foot, keeping your hips even. Exhale, the right foot between your hands, left heel to mat. Inhale, feel the strength and stability in your front leg. Exhale, push into your back leg and lift your torso. Arms are lifting, finding warrior one, chest and hips are yearning for the front of your mat. Heart is lifting up, belly draws in. Settle into this pose and then bring your hands to your hips. Heel of the hand in line with the front of your hip bones. Your fingers will point in the direction that your hips are pointing, giving you more awareness as to where it is we're truly directing our body. Try and make subtle adjustments here. Tailbone under, deepen the bend in your right knee, and then push the left hip forward. Take your hands out in front. Notice where your shoulders are. Invite your right shoulder back, and then lift your arms. Reassess this pose now. Connect to the core, navel into spine, pushing the tailbone down between the feet, directly beneath the heart. Join your palms, straighten your right leg, hands to chest. Deepen the bend in your right knee. Lift the back heel up, stack it above the ball of your foot as you lower the chest and extend your arms towards the front of the mat. Hands again separate to shoulder distance. Create a strong line from your middle finger down your arms into your tailbone. Now release the arms and then reach them back to the foot behind you, flaring your fingers still. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, the arms reach forward yet again, slightly up. Exhale, hands to the inside of your right foot. Right hand threads behind your calf, placing the palm down against the mat. Try and hook your right arm behind your right calf. Get some leverage here. Bend the elbows and then straighten your arms. Energize from your core and attempt to shoot the right leg out in front of you, flexing your foot, curling your toes in. Inhale, swing the right leg back, one-legged, Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, heels rotate towards one another. Push back into downward facing dog and breathe. Inhale now as that left leg reaches all the way up towards the sky. Exhale and step the foot between your hands, rolling your right heel to the floor. Strong connection to foundation. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your arms. Exhale, making subtle adjustments in your body to ease the hips down. Energize into both feet, pushing your feet in two very different directions. Bring your hands to your hips and showing yourself where your hips are truly pointing. Subtle adjustments, engaging the core, pushing your right hip forward, tucking the tailbone. Arms in front of the chest, pull the left shoulder back, 
flare the fingers, keeping your hips moving down and the shoulders even to the front of your mat here. Inhale as you lift your arms up. Exhale, drop the shoulders down to the hips. Drop the hips down towards the floor. All four corners of both front and back foot commit to the mat. Straightening your left leg as you inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, deepen the bend in the knee and lift your back heel. Lower the chest. Inhale, arms reach forward and slightly up. Sloping diagonal line created by the arms, torso and right leg. Swinging your arms down under your shoulders, and then as you inhale, reach them with energy towards the back of your mat, the back foot. Inhale again, reach your arms forward, keeping the shoulders far away from your ears. Exhale the hands to the inside of the foot, weave your left hand behind. Try and tuck your shoulder or your bicep, and then use your core to lift the left leg, energize the heel forward and with strength and energy, swing the leg back to plank or one-legged plank through your vinyasa, chaturanga, upward dog on the inhale, downward facing dog as you exhale. Inhale, exhale, heels to mat, navel to spine, shoulders away from the ears. Inhales, you push your right heel back and up. Exhale, bring the knee to chest, chest over your hands. Inhale, the leg extends back and up. Exhale, touch the outside of your right arm with your kneecap. Inhale, take the leg back and up. Exhale and touch your left elbow. Inhale, the leg back and up. Exhale, touch the left elbow, extend the leg all from the core. Inhale, the right leg extends up. Exhale and release the right foot next to the left. Solid foundation with your hands. Flare the fingers. Inhaling. Feel the chest roll forward over your palms. Exhale, chaturanga. Neutralize the spine. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Left leg lifts now on the inhale. Knee to chest. Exhale. Inhale a little bit higher. Exhale, touch the outside of your left arm. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, touch your right elbow. Transverse abdominals. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, try and extend. Inhale, the left leg extends up towards the sky. Exhale, release the foot to mat. Inhaling in strong and stable plank. Exhale through your vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Look between your feet. Lift the heels on the inhale and step or hop between your hands as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, deepen your fold, look up towards your belly button. Inhale, both arms reach forward and up, pushing down into your feet. Exhale, bring your hands to heart, joining the palms at the front of the chest. Feel yourself standing strong in Tadasana, mountain pose. Strong connection from the bottom of the feet, up through the legs, into the torso, soft shoulders, extending the spine through the top of your head. Inhale now as you bring the hands to the hips. Find all four corners of your feet and relax your toes. Bring your right leg up on the inhale, flexing your foot. As you exhale, push the heel out in front of you from your core. Feel that 90 degree angle created by your thigh and your torso. Bend the knee on the inhale, and then cross your right ankle over your left knee as you exhale. Bend that left knee and make a shelf. Give yourself somewhere to put your foot. Flexing that right foot will keep your knee protected as we open the hips. Sink and sit back. Push the tailbone down, Always, always draw the navel in. Lowering your elbows now onto the knee and the ankle. Your right foot is still flexed. If available, bring your hands down to the mat. Stop anywhere along the way here. Hop the left foot a little bit further back so you can bring your shin onto the back of your arms. 
Bend your elbows and lift that left leg. Shoot it back from your core with conviction. Stay here, or there will be an option to do a hop back. Shoot your legs into plank, moving into downward facing dog, or simply placing that left foot back down and letting yourself rise, arms overhead, right knee to the sky, joining your feet. If you've done in the hop back, stay in downward facing dog. Now hop your feet between your hands. Inhale as you take your hands out in front of you and up overhead, right knee to sky. Exhale, bring that right foot down next to the left. Both options are here again in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Choose the option that works best for you in this series. Now let's do the left side, left leg lifts, flexing your foot. Push the foot forward, energizing all the way into your heel and your toes. Connection to core. Bending your knee again, lift it high. Soften your right standing leg and cross your left ankle over the knee, just as though you're sitting cross-legged in a chair. Push your hips back and down. Expect to feel that chair under your sit bones at any moment. Keep that foot flexed, keep your knee safe. Stop anywhere along the way. Arms out to the side for more stability. Slow and steady inhale. Full complete exhale, hands to heart, join your palms. If it's available to you, bring your elbows down onto your joints, the joints of your ankle and your knee. Lowering the torso a little closer to your thighs, bring your hands to mat if that is available. Hooking that left foot around the back of your right arm. Keep the leg engaged. Create a shelf here and balance your left shin across that shelf. Right leg shoots back from the core, pushing into your heel with the option of the hop back. Remember, it's just an option. Downward dog in the option waiting there, or simply lowering the feet and rising, finding Tadasana in both options eventually. From downward facing dog to return to the front of your mat, hop forward. Inhale as you soften your knees and reach up, lifting the left knee and then placing it down next to the right foot with control. Soften from side to side, hip to hip. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind you. Halfway up on the inhale, deep forward fold. Exhale, yoga mudra one, tucking the chin in towards the throat, pushing your pinkies out towards the floor in front of you. Energize through the front of your legs. Always connect to the core. Soften the knees now, creating a shelf for your torso. Drop your thumbs onto your tailbone, release the hands out to the side, and then forward. Look beyond your fingertips, which are flared and opened. Inhale, lift up, strong through your core, strong through your center. Hands to heart, full cycle of breath, release the hands. Roll your shoulders here again, release any unnecessary tension you're holding in that area of the body. From here, we're softening the knees, touching the floor first with our fingers. Working on that strong, solid foundation as the knees push together. Inner arch of the feet are pushing together as well. Join your palms and lower your hands just above the knees before we twist first to the right. Left elbow crosses over that right knee. The knees stay even. You may even want to check the kneecaps to make sure your right kneecap hasn't pulled back, keeping the hips square. Rotating through the spine, nice twist. Taking that left leg now, shoot it back and go deeper into this twist. Land on the ball of your foot. Take your heart up on the inhale and your hips down as you exhale. The next option will be spreading those wings, taking your right arm up to the sky, touching your left fingertips to the floor. To go further, binding it up, the right hand behind your back, the left hand will thread underneath that right hamstring. Connect your fingertips and then energize your hands towards your tailbone. Lean your chest back, strong through the core. Neck is in line with your spine as it is part of your spine. Release the hands again if you have the bind, opening the chest. From there, return the palms to one another. Everyone starting out in that initial twist, look to the front of your mat. Join your feet, deepen the bend in your knees. Inhale, arms reach forward. 
Neutralize the spine in waterfall pose. Dropping the chest down as we grab onto opposite elbows. Being a little more passive in this forward fold, simply allowing your mind and your body to take in everything you've done. Deepen the bend in the knees, inhale, reach your arms forward, flared through those fingers, strong connection through the core line, hands to heart. Bring your belly close to your thighs, and then use your core to turn your torso now to the left side of your mat. Right elbow crossing over the knee, check your knees. Keep that left knee pushing forward, hips are even. Feet are pushing down, strong foundation. Let your heart lift on the inhale, draw the navel into spine as you exhale. Now shoot your right leg back with strength and confidence. Landing on the ball of your foot, go a little bit deeper here as you lift your heart higher. Exhale to draw the navel deeper in towards the spine. Option one can stay right here. Option two, spread your wings, left arm to sky, right hand to mat. Progressing over time when your body's ready. To go even further, take the left hand behind your back, palm facing away from you. Right hand threads underneath that left leg. Connect the fingertips and move the bind down towards your tailbone. Both shoulders move back at the same time. If you have the bind, release it now. Join your palms at your heart, remaining in that twist. Look forward to your left foot. Step your right foot there. Deep bend in your knees, arms reaching forward. Exhale, hands to mat in line with your toes, forward fold. Feel the length, the warmth, the heat you've created in your legs. Halfway up on the inhale, deepen your fold as you exhale. Notice the progression of this asana throughout your practice. Inhale now as you come halfway up to lengthen the spine, neutralizing the back. Exhale to drop the hips towards your heels. Heels are lifting. Inhale, the arms reach directly up over the shoulders. Join your palms. Interweave the fingers and then push and rotate the palms towards the sky. Vertical spine, navel drawing in, tailbone is pointing down. Push the knees in for stability. Lift your heels up. The hands now come in front of you. Connect to the mat on either side of the feet. Use your core and shoot both legs straight back into plank. Lowering down now onto the elbows and the forearms. Inhale, bring your chest forward. Exhale, push your hips back. Opening the shoulders, opening up the hips even more. Inhale, come forward, nose over your thumbs, wiggle the feet back. Measure out your foundation by taking that right hand to the left elbow, and then take your left arm up towards the sky, opening the shoulder, using the right side waist, the obliques to lift your hips. Lower that left hand down, bring the right hand forward, return to your low plank. As you exhale, push your hips back. Let your heels begin to drop. Inhale, come forward. Exhale now as you roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Pushing down into the left forearm, the right arm reaches up. Stacking hips and shoulders here. Feeling the left side of your waist get nice and warm. Return that left arm and right arm back to neutral. As you come back first to your low plank, inhale. Exhale into your dolphin pose. Inhale to lift your heels. Exhale, drop the knees. Find child's pose. Breathing into the back of your body, opening up the intercostals again as you roll and weave your breath through each and every rib. Come high now onto the fingertips. And then drop down into the palms. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, elbows again returning down onto the mat. Extend one leg back at a time. Find your low plank. Push down into your elbows, push back into your heels. Same core strength here. The right leg begins to lift, keeping your hips even, rotating the toes towards the left leg. Exhale, bring the right knee towards your right arm. Inhale, shoot the leg straight back. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, shoot back, stay encouraged, stay with your breath. Exhale. Find core strength. Inhale as you flex your foot. Exhale, try and touch your shoulder. Inhale, 
As you exhale, take the right leg up and push the chest back, downward facing dog variation. Feeling that right heel lift. Exhale, place the right foot next to the left. Finding low plank yet again, lift that left leg, drop the left hip, flex your left foot, and then invite your knee towards your left arm. Inhale for length. Exhale strength, draw the kneecap forward. Inhale, finding length in that left leg. Exhale, using your obliques. Inhale, exhale, fire up the belly, find some heat here. Inhale, shoot back. As you exhale, taking that downward facing dog variation, deep stretch through your right leg. Slowly bring both feet together at the back of your mat. Inhale to low plank. Exhale, bring your hips down. Release your toes. Pushing your hands and elbows into the mat. Drawing your navel up away from the floor. Engage the core here back of your head is reaching towards your heels, top of your head reaches up. To go further, energize your arms. Keep anchoring down through the pubic bone. Lift the skin directly underneath your belly button. Try and take it completely off the mat. Moving your hands even further in to broaden across the chest. No compression in the lower back when we use the core. Lower the chest back down, hands under the shoulders. Retuck your 10 toes. Inhale, pushing back to plank. Exhale, navel to spine. Slightly round your lower back here. Lift the back of your heart higher than your shoulder blades, then lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale, knees to mat. Bring your hips back towards your heels and then turn around towards the back of your mat, extending the legs. Sit tall, flex your feet, engage the legs. Inhale, the hands reach forward, flaring your fingers. Lift the torso, exhale with a straight spine, lean back. Neck in line with the rest of your spine. Lower down, pause here, connect to your core, inhale, Exhale a bit lower, tease the mat with your lower back. Exhale all the way down. Release the hands beside your hips. Energizing the palms into the mat, flex your feet, bring the knees to chest. Inhale, extend the legs straight up. Start to connect your lower back to the mat beneath you. Keep this connection strong and stable using your core muscles. As you inhale, feel the length in the back of your legs. Strengthen your thighs. Exhale and lower these straight legs towards the mat. Inhale to lift back up, pushing into your heels. As you exhale, the legs stay straight, lower a little bit more. Inhale, bring the knees in and push the heels straight up towards the sky. Exhale, keep the core line engaged. Inhale now as the knees come back in, pushing back towards the sky. As you exhale, lower as far down as you possibly can. Inhale to lift the legs. Exhale to lower the legs. Strength from the center of your being, strength from your core. Inhale to lift, do your best, stay encouraged. Exhale now and lift the chest, looking between your inner thighs. Inhale to soften the chest back down. As you exhale, push the belly button towards the spine and lift the shoulders high. Inhale to soften, keep your legs engaged. Exhale, lift the chest higher. Inhale, soften the shoulder blades back down. Exhale, as you begin to lower your heels again to the bottom of your mat. Inhale, lift your legs. Exhale, to lift the chest and reach your fingertips. Inhale, to release the chest. Exhale, lower your heels towards the mat. Inhale, lift your legs up. Exhale, lift your shoulders up. Inhale, soften your shoulders. Exhale, release your heels down. Inhale, lift the legs back up. Exhale, flare your fingers as you lift the chest. Reach into your hands. Bend your knees now. Draw the knees into chest and rock very gently from side to side. Massaging your lower back, embracing all the strength that you've created in your core today. Bring your heels now as close to the sit bones as you possibly can. Push your knees together as we lift the hips up. 
reaching the fingers down towards your heels, finding our bridge pose, anchoring down into the shoulders, and then if it's available, bringing your hands behind the hips, bringing your palms into the back of your hips at the base of your lower back to support the hips, using your forearms, from your elbow to your wrist. Feel the rise and the fall of your breath as you watch your breath move through the torso. Releasing the hands now so your fingers are reaching down towards your feet. Slowly lower the hips, one vertebra at a time, tailbone touches last. Roll even further into the shoulders as your chest moves towards your chin. Interlace the fingers and reach your knuckles now towards your heels. Remember here, we're stretching out the base of the neck. Keep your head incredibly still to keep the neck safe. Feel that beautiful stretch from the base of your neck all the way into the base of the skull. Palms now rotate up as we release the hips back down, again letting your tailbone touch last. Bring the knees now into the chest and flex the feet, taking the feet straight up. Taking your right leg, cross it over your left, just as though you're doing Garyadasana. Take your left arm on top of your right arm, weaving into this reclined variation. Inhale to open your body, Exhale, close your body, elbows and knees together. Inhale, open, create some space. Exhale, strong contraction through the core. Inhale again as you open your body. Do your best here. Exhale. Inhale, find length. Exhale, strength. Push the navel down towards the earth. Inhale. Exhale, touch your elbows and knees. Inhale to open. Exhale, release your arms out to the side, palms turned down. Taking a nice twist now as we bring the knees over to the left hand, bracing both shoulders against the earth, turning your gaze to your right hand. Let the weight of your legs, the binding of your legs, help rotate your lower body in one direction. Use your core now, bring your knees back to center. As you exhale, release that binding and reach your hands up. Try and touch your toes. Use that core strength again. Place both feet back down, heels in line with the sit bones, hands in line with the hips. Inhale, lift your hips. Try and move your heart towards your chin. Strong anchoring through your arms, through your shoulders. To go deeper in this, you can even bind your fingers around the ankles themselves. Use your legs, they're there to help lift the hips, giving you the strength that you need to open the chest. When you're ready, release the hips. One vertebra at a time, tailbone touches last. Inhale, legs lengthen up. Exhale, soften the knees, take your arms overhead. And let's do the other side. Left leg now, winding around that right leg. Taking your right arm on top of your left arm. Garyadasana, arms and legs. Inhale, open up. Touch the toes and fingers. Exhale, connect elbows and knees. Inhale to open. Exhale, connect to your core. Connect to your foundation and your intention. Exhale, close your body. Inhale, open, create some space. Exhale, strong contraction through the core. Inhale again as you open your body. Do your best here. Exhale. Inhale now, let's sweep the arms out to the side. Exhale and roll your knees over towards your right hand. Take your gaze over to your left hand and push both shoulders down to the mat. Let gravity take over, let gravity do all of the work here. Allow yourself to relax in the shoulders and the hips. Inhale now, bring the knees back to center. Exhale, release and lift up. Touch your toes or do as best you can. Release the feet down under the sit bones, hands beside the hips, heels as close to the sit bones as possible. Inhale again as we push the hips to the sky. As you push your heart to your chin and wiggle your fingers down as close as possible to your feet. Try and move those hips even closer to your shoulders. Feel your heart opening, feel the back of your neck opening. Feel the strong connections to each and every part of your foundation here. Lift the heels and roll the spine back down one vertebra at a time. Tailbone touches last. Turn the palms towards the floor, bend your knees, inhale, lift your legs back up, flexing your feet, curling your toes in. 
Wiggle the hands towards the bottom of your mat for strength. Push them down and then lift your hips up. Coming back into our plow pose, Halasana. Touching your toes behind the top of your head if available to you. Only inverting if it feels right. Whenever you go upside down, remember to keep your neck safe by keeping your gaze at one point above you. If you'd like to go further today, perhaps into shoulder stand, let's bring the hands onto the lower back, elbows as close as possible to one another, supporting your back by moving your hips up towards the sky. When you're ready, use your core and lift your legs, preferably at the same time, using that core strength to line your hips above your shoulders, your heels above your hips. Your chest is moving towards your chin rather than your chin being drawn in towards the chest. Lower the toes back down to the earth for plow pose. Release the hands. Connect your hands to mat, find your foundations and engage your legs. Using strength from your core, roll your hips down one vertebra at a time. Let your hips touch down and then release your heels sitting up, using momentum from your legs. Moving into our counter pose, fish pose. Elbows connect to mat, hands behind your lower back, palms turned down. So option one is gonna stay right here, just opening the chest. Option two, let your head fall back and touch the top of your head to the floor. Option three, straightens the arms to lift your heart even higher. Essentially, we're all doing the same thing, opening the heart and throat chakra after it was closed down in our inversion. Flex your feet, find your core strength, and then lift your head. Release the back of the chest onto your mat again. Bend your knees, bring them in towards the chest, and then release your hands. Take your hands around your shins, interweave your fingers, draw those knees right on in towards the heart. Rock very gently from side to side, massaging your lower back. And then move your heart and your head towards your legs. Lift up. Draw everything in. Then release the head back. Soften the fingers. Release the hands down beside the hips. Extend first your left leg up and then down to the bottom of your mat, placing it exactly where you mean it to go. The right leg does the same falling open, physically, mentally, and emotionally, in Shavasana, giving yourself the opportunity right now to lie still, allowing those internal currents to continue to move. The currents of the breath, gentle thoughts, warm feelings, let that light circulate, unobstructed. Let it move through you. Let yourself stay here, relax, and let go. This is your time. Take as long as you need. From the bottom of your feet all the way up your body to the top of your head, try and soften everything. Relax and let go completely. Release the shoulders. Release your toes, release your fingers. Simply be. Let go of the idea that we always need to be doing something, moving towards accomplishing something. Take this opportunity to be. Simply follow the rise and the fall of your breath as it moves through your body. With your eyes closed, feel your core. Feel it physically first, the center of your being, the center of your light. Feel that strength, that solid foundation that holds everything together. And 
And then go a little deeper than that. Find your core. Find the pillars of who it is that you are and what it is you stand for. Feel your connection to those pillars. Unshaken. That same strong stability. That same sense of holding everything together. Feel that emotional core now. Feel your heart. Feel your heart open, warm, and light. Vibrant. Shining freely, fearlessly. Connecting to those three centers. Connecting to your core completely. All three pieces become one with your breath. Thank you.